Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, let us look into metrics or differences, major differences between Dell Boomi and MuleSoft. So first one, cloud. So IPaaS, IPaaS means integration platform as a service. So both MuleSoft and Dell Boomi both are IPaaS, integration platform as a service. So that means, you know, what is platform as a service? Platform as a service means they are providing as a platform. Using a platform, we are building an application and deploying on the platform. So that is called a platform as a service. So in this, we are implementing integrations on the platform. So that is why, you know, integration platform, they are providing us the integration platform as a service. On top of that, we are building an integration and deploying it on. We are monitoring and everything can be handled in the platform. So both Dell Boomi and MuleSoft both are IPaaS and coding. And Dell Boomi, very less coding is there. We just need to write minimal coding. But when we compare to MuleSoft, MuleSoft is heavy coding. That means, you know, in Dell Boomi, when we want to map uh, fields from source to target, we just need to drop, just drag a source field onto the target field. And when, when we want to do some, you know, changes or concatenations or something, only in that cases, we need to go for some functions. And, and there also, we don't need to write any code. They have a lot of functions. They are the inbuilt functions and we need to use them. But when we go to MuleSoft, we need to write data wave code even for the mapping simple mappings we need to write data wave code we can drag and drop that is fine but still we need to write data wave code for complex mappings we need to you know uh, spend a lot of time to write a data wave code and data wave is separate language i mean we need to spend a lot of time to understand that that is complex language and you know when when a new i mean when a beginner comes and work on this platform right they can easily understand and they can you know quickly start working on dilbumi but when they it will take time to understand mulesoft okay so third one cloud around premise dilbumi and mulesoft both can connect to cloud applications or on-premise applications and version control. In Dell Boomi, we have an inbuilt version control. When we when you make a changes and when you save it, it will automatically create a new version itself. We don't need to do anything in Dell Boomi. It will just create a new version. And when you deploy changes, then it will you know consider latest uh, version and it will deploy that. But but the mules are we need to maintain or we need to use external versioning control. Uh, for example, we need to you know save code in GitHub or SVN. So some external tools we need to use for mules. Are. But for Dell Boom, it is inbuilt version control system is there. And when we have an inbuilt feature, right, you know, a lot of advantages are there and with the inbuilt uh, versioning control. We can easily go back and use the previous code. So smart data mapping. So I already told you, right, when we are discussing about the coding. So we have a smart data mapping in Dell Boomi, but not in MuleSoft. MuleSoft is heavy coding, but it is having a lot of features. Most of the, you know, integration, I'm sorry, a lot of companies are using it and it is, it supports, it is having 300 plus connectors, right? So it is having its own, you know, advantages. But when we compare mappings with Dell Boomi, very, you know, uh, it is a smart, smart data mapper, but MuleSoft is not. And free trial in Dell Boomi and MuleSoft, in both the environments, we have a free trial. We can just go with the free trial and we can, you know, practice the integrations. 
and pricing. So pricing Delvumi begins with a dollar five forty nine per month. For MuleSoft, pricing is not disclosed, but uh, as for analysis, right, it is you know relatively high pricing for some clients. It is more than Delvumi, we can say. And pricing model for Delvumi, we can choose either monthly or annually. But for MuleSoft, we can only go with annually fee. So Boomi charges you for every application and every connection. Means it charges you based on the connections. So let's say you are connecting to Fusion and also connecting to Salesforce. And you are using two connections, for one for Salesforce and one for Fusion. And based on the connections, it, they charge uh, no fee. For example, if you are connecting to Fusion, but you are, you are using two different connections, one for, let's say, OTBI reports, one for normal ST APIs. So that counts like a two, not one. So that is only, I mean, that is the major difference between MuleSoft and Delbumi. So MuleSoft charges based on the power, processing power for the volume of the records you are handling. This is cost effective approach and very difficult from Boomi approach. We cannot compare these two. So when you have a lot of systems to connect, maybe you need to think about the connections. Sometimes, you know, for the same environment, we need to use two or three different uh, connections because one is for soap service, one is for rest service, and sometimes, you know, visitors may vary and we need to go, for, go with the different uh, visitor uh, services. And, you know, the, the, these all are comes like a connections. And let's say you have a Fusion and uh, Salesforce connection on two items, then that counts like a four connections. So we just need to think of all these and then go for a solution. Okay, and you know, obviously with the MuleSoft, when you are deploying on a cloud, you can see core, uh, I mean, V cores, V2 cores, uh, these type of options you can see because that is the processing. Processing power they provide and based on the processing power that you are using, they charge. So email notification. We have an inbuilt notification feature available in Delbumi. But with the MuleSoft, we need to configure a SFTP server. I mean, we have a feature to, feature to send email notification, but still we need to configure some SMTP server because our own SFTP, SMTP server we need to configure. And then it can send email notifications. But in Delbumi, it is inbuilt. We don't need to you know, use any other external SMTP servers. Database replica. Database replica means when you want to query something from the database, when you want to write a select, it will give us a full table. And from that table, you can use whatever fields you want to use. But with the MuleSoft, depending on the manual written select statements, let's say select first name, comma, last name from the table. So it will only give us a first name and last name. But Delbumi give us, gives us the, all the fields from that table. And you can use whatever fields you want. So this is the difference when we compare the database, you know, queries. Delbumi supports Groovy and JavaScript. But MuleSoft supports Java, Python, Ruby, Groovy, and JavaScript. And connectors. We have 100 plus connect, connect, connectors available in Delbumi, but in MuleSoft, we have 300 plus connectors in real time, you know, whether it be database or storage platforms or networks or any fusion or Salesforce, you know, all the platforms. But it is, it is, you know, having a more connections when we compare to Delbumi. Processing, reprocessing. Retry functionality for all flows is available in Delbumi, but custom code is required for reprocessing. So that means, let's say, in your integration, you are trying to connect to a database. You want you want to select some, you know, uh, data from the database in Delbumi. 
and due to some reason it got failed. In Dell Bhumi, it automatically retry for two or three times. I think it is three times. It tries for three times and again it fails, then it will give us an error. But in MuleSoft, when it fails and it will give us an error. For MuleSoft, we need to write our custom code to retry the connection. So that is the difference. And monitoring, extensive monitoring features are available in Dell Bhumi and also in MuleSoft. Okay, and uh, supports a real-time integration up to seconds, means even you can schedule integration for every second. So that feature is available in MuleSoft. I, I'm not sure about Dell Bhumi. You can have a look and, you know, uh, confirm that and please also comment me in this uh, comment section and api management no api management support in Dell Bhumi, but we have a full api management support in mulesoft mulesoft is very powerful when we you know go with the api management we can have our separate policies and we can you know that is why banking systems sectors go with a mulesoft most of them it will it can provide more security when we have a separate policies and you know security so this is a major advantage with the MuleSoft customizations so when we want to do any customizations it requires pass features for extensive customizations I mean you want when you want to do some customizations on your integrations obviously platform should support us but when you are going with a MuleSoft, right, full flexibility for customizations because we can write our own code. Let's say some feature is not available in Mule. You can connect to Java and, you know, in Java, you can do anything. Documentation. So good documentation is available in Boomi and also good documentation is available in MuleSoft. And, you know, below we have a basic connections. Uh, FTP, file, REST, SOAP, database, and Microsoft SQL Server. So these basic connections are supported in both the integrations and both the platforms, even Dell Bhumi or in MuleSoft. So these are the major differences between MuleSoft and Dell Bhumi. I hope this video is helpful for you. And thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll compare uh, MuleSoft and OIC. Thank you everyone and good luck.